Today I'm going to show you how to create a fairly simple display product using Microbellum's solid modeling tools. We're going to walk you through the steps to design and manufacture the product that you see here in this rendering, and we're going to do this in three simple steps. We're going to review the process for creating the section or the profile drawings, and then we're going to create the 3D model. After that, we're going to process and then produce the manufacturing data. So let's get started. I'm working in Toolbox paired with AutoCAD 2018 today, Microbellum's design and manufacturing solution for residential cabinetry, commercial casework, architectural millwork, and more. But as I mentioned today, we're going to be focusing on how to create that display fixture, something that you might see in a bookstore, a grocery store, maybe even a toy store. So let's focus on step one. So you see here that I have a section drawn already, but if you're new to AutoCAD or unfamiliar with how the 2D drawing tools work, it's fairly simple. To complete this step, you only need to know how to use a few commands, or where those commands are found there in the menu. It only took me a few minutes to lay out this section, and if you're working with architects, well, you have an advantage because chances are these details have already been laid out for you in the architectural drawings, and you can just simply copy those section views for this process. I'm not going to take the time to detail exactly how I created this section, but I think you get the point that using simple AutoCAD commands, you can create a section view fairly quickly. So with step one complete, we are ready to move on to step number two, creating the 3D model. Now we need to create a construction path for the extruded parts to follow. A construction path is just a simple line or polyline that represents the outline of your product. In our example, I already have one I can use. So next, we need to add an empty extruded product here in our solid modeling tools palette. And now that we have our shell created, we can begin to add parts using our section drawing. Simply select the parts that you want to add to your model, click to confirm, and the 3D model is created for you. From this section view, we automatically created the 3D model. And at this point, all modifications made to this 2D drawing, such as the overall shape, the height or locations for internal machining will cause the 3D model to be updated. If we need to add additional parts to this model, we could continue building the 3D model by adding to the 2D section and assigning those parts to the smart layers that provide instruction for our model. With our model created and our engineering work complete, we are now ready to move on to step three, creating the manufacturing data. So let's go ahead and save this 3D model as a microvellum product something that we can save to our library and reuse at another time if we wanted to. Maybe we even want to uh, add some parametric properties to control different aspects of this display fixture. And so we can save this and let it draw back in our drawing that we are working with. And now that we have a microvellum product created, we can create an order, a work order and prepare to process the parts for manufacturing. At this point, I need to make some processing station assignments, and since I'm going to be choosing to nest these parts, I will assign all of my parts to the nesting processing station that I have set up. And let's open up our nest drawing to see what we ended up with. Our nest patterns of optimized parts was created, and the toolpaths for all the machining have also been applied, removing any need for manual processes at your CNC machine. So in just a few simple steps, you can create a simple product like this display fixture or even other things like reception areas, nurses stations, seating areas, wall panels, and other things. We'll take you from design to manufacturing faster and easier than you might expect. And if you want to learn more about these tools for creating custom products like this one or other examples that I have mentioned, please visit our website and register for a free consultation for your business. And we'll show you how you can transform your design, engineering, and manufacturing process to be more profitable and more efficient. Thanks for watching.